two things about the animal question with mm -hmm. cars, right? Um, you, you complain that they, they mention crabs but never show them. Yeah, they don't show movie. us the crabs. What are the, there's, what do they like? They mention are crabs they on too? a beach. Yeah. They do have, uh, we do learn the tractors are cows mm -hmm. in this film because they do find a herd of tractors that behave like cows and yet Tex, the stereotypically Texan car, has a longhorn steer's horns right. on the front of him, which suggests that biological cows also exist or, or did are, exist anyway you know i mean because one of the sort of running darker running theories is that this is a dystopian future where the cars have been, the human race has been eradicated probably by the cars sort of terminator style <laughs> and that they're now just just they're, they, they're just the survivors of earth and they're living out these they're like basically living out human history as cars now yeah, because they're cursed to repeat all yes. of our. They're cursed to have World War II. They're right. cursed to repeat all the worst things that yes. we, um, that we as the human race wrought upon the world. Yeah. And uh, but then the question is, how old is their world? Cars have not been around that long, right? Oh, I mean, eighteen eighty-five yeah. for the for the uh, um, uh, for the Benz motor wagon. Yeah. So is that where their history begins, or are there? Ancient cars, because they Are otherwise like prehistoric cars. Because, but then what do they look like? Because the cars <laughs> otherwise follow the development yeah. of, like, I know it's a cartoon. I know this is all. This is a very silly discussion <laughs> to be having. But the thing is, that cars is entirely about the cars world. That's yeah. all it's got going for it. Yeah. That is the entire. Right, because if you took that element away from these movies, you would essentially have generic genre movies. You yeah. Know, the first one is basically is Doc Holliday. You know. Yeah. Hot shot. Uh, from the city, stops in a small town, learns how to enjoy life more and the simpler pleasures of life. The second one is like a generic uh, man who knew too much, essentially. Yeah. You know, R wrong man mixed up in a in a in a spy. And I'm sure about 15 years ago, it's a movie that Larry the Cable Guy could have starred in in live action. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and the new one is basically a Rocky movie, you know, yeah. or, or a sports comeback movie. So if you take away this fantastical cars element, you just have these kind of, these sort of generic entertainment. Because there's nothing, there's nothing um, poignant connected to the fact that they happen to be cars. It's not like Very little. Toy Story, which right. always, which draw from the fact that they happen to be toys mm -hmm. and their relationship to being discarded, their relationship to, to children and to childhood, um, and the, their sort of their single functions, all of these yep. things, that is, the emotional center of the film. It's like, what what can yes. we, what is pointing about toys? That's the same thing in Wally, -E, right? This little mm -hmm. robot who's abandoned somewhere, or Inside Out. It's a, the 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 premise is taking advantage of, of what yes. it's actually about. It's tied um, to the emotional content of the film. Yeah, that's not really the case with these movies. I mean, you could argue that there's a little bit of like they get into car into nostalgia for old car culture. You yeah, know? In the first film especially into the idea that. Um, uh, you know, as as the highway goes away, some of these towns die. These yeah, towns I'm sure children have 60s. tremendous nostalgia for <laughs> mid 1950s. Well, that's one of my issues design. with these films, though, is that, that they're so mercenary. In that, um, most Pixar, the best Pixar stuff, mm -hmm. I think, uh, genuinely earns the distinction of all ages entertainment. Yeah. They're movies that have been designed to appeal to a very large range of viewers because but there's something universal about kids. Them. Do love cars, but the thing is. You know, any any kid likes a red race car, motor car. They yeah. like a truck. They like all of this stuff. But uh, this is about cars in a very, very empty way. Yeah. In a way that is often often somewhat tedious. Yeah. Um, and that, I think, really puts the focus <laughs> in a funny way on, on the universe that these films inhabit.